Now let's just review some of the positive altcoin picks. So let's forget all the macro stuff. If we're just talking altcoins, right? I've got some new work on near. So I did a redraw of the hidden pivots and it turns out 14 and a half was really good support in near and it's held twice. So if everything is copacetic with Twitter and yes, please hit the like button. I appreciate that. Okay. If, if 14 and a half holds 21.5 is next. Okay. So our fundamental guys like near and near held support. There's also a big accumulation cone in near. What's that? Well, it's from a book. Okay. It's from a character in a book called Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. The guy's name was Jesse Livermore. He wrote the first technical analysis book as his trading diary. When you get these cones, all right, when the market sort of consolidates in an upward sloping band, it can be the prelude to a parabolic. So if Bitcoin is stable at 40, okay, and stocks don't go down, if stocks just let bonds, bond yields just go up, right? We just do the oblivious thing. We've been doing it. They've been doing it for a while. That could allow some of these big altcoins to take off or, or it could allow near to become the one coin market because we've seen it, right? We saw it last year with AVAX, okay? Uh, Solana before that, then AVAX, right? Phantom had a mind of its own, okay? Then Solana took off on its own again, hosed us, but it took off again. And then near could be next. Because if this is ETH 2.0 before ETH 2.0, then everybody may not be, everyone who's long other layer ones may be long the wrong stuff. And if hedge funds turn around in crypto and don't have anything else to buy, in other words, if Bitcoin is not a buy or a sell at 40K, right? It's neutral, right? If ETH can't really get going again on the upside, there, there is downside risk there, even though no one wants to sell ETH at all. I don't, it's okay. But if there's downside risk in those other currencies, this one could take off. Now, the other level we're looking at in near is 1760. So we think the, the support is between 1573 and 1445. If near is above 1760, it can really go. So as long as the market holds together, the focus is on near. Okay, so I see now, Rune in the chat. Is it time to sell and go away? Well, if you have profits, it's time to take them and put them in stable coins so that if this market goes down, you can take advantage of it. Okay, really, Rune is a classic example, right? Rune goes straight up, right? Top favorite coin, but it does the 13 top. Then it goes down. You think you're going to get a nine bottom, and then it keeps going down. So this may be one of these things, and we've seen this all year long, right? Big moonshot trades, right? There's a huge unwind. Like, it's not a bull market until you can buy a dip and make money, I know. But, like, this would be the dip. These are the dips, the little ones. Once something goes from 3 to 13, it hasn't paid to buy the dip this year. It has not. Okay, Rune is a really good project. They've had technical execution risk. And I think you buy Rune if it recovers and get back above 838. So that's when, you know, when Rune dips and then comes back, you've been paid to go with it, like here, right? So when Rune dipped, you got paid to basically go with it as soon as it broke out. So that's how I would trade these type of things. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.